This is a quick video with some of the basics on the clerking grid. The first thing is the auto advance feature. We can automatically advance to the next lot at your preference. There's three different settings. No, the work is all on you. Yes, we go to the next whole number. One, two, three, four, five, etc. That's what you want to use if you're clerking on the fly. If you have a cataloged auction, you want to use the sequence order or sequence number. In this, we actually ignore the lot number entirely. That way, A lots or uh, sublots work. But what we do is we look at the sequence order the lots are displayed in in WaveBid. The next part we want to talk about is the lots. This is where you actually bring in the individual lots to be sold. You can use dashes. So for example, one through five would bring in all the lots between one and five. If you want to bring in multiple lots, you can simply use the space bar and bring in multiple lots that way. Finally, we have the screen. Part of using clerking allows you to show the actual items that are in the clerking grid. This is a clerking grid down here. So the clerk is actually controlling what's on the public screen based on what they have in the actual grid here. To do that, you want to pick which screen you want to display, and then we want to hit the play button. If you see the pause sign, it's playing. If you see the play arrow, nothing's happening because it's paused. So we're going to play that. We will cover auction tube in a later video. So with this set to auto advance, I'm just going to bring in lot number one. I type in the lot and I hit enter. And now we can see we have a lot here. Uh, $500 to bidder number one. And I'm just going to hit enter once to save it. Nothing new came into the clerking grid. Now if I go to yes and type in uh, lot number two, this is a balloon. We're going to sell it off. And when I hit enter, you can see that lot number three came in automatically for me. I can go right from there quickly and easily. Now I'm going to set this to sequence, and we're going to bring in lot 500. Uh, as we can see, this is already cataloged. It's a large tree. The winning bid is $500 to buyer number one. And as you notice here, lot 500A came in, which is our next item. So I can save that off and we can continue on through the process. That's a quick overview of the basics for the accounting grid. There's many more videos and help available. Uh, just look through the resources. Thank you very much.